hi guys and welcome to my channel so in this video we are going to be looking at the JS27 auto trigger so this trigger comes with a um, uh, pulse gear uh, that is it allows you to fire single shot weapons on auto so uh, in the box or in the case you'll find the charging cable and the trigger itself so the charging port is here and uh, this is the trigger itself so i think this is the aiming and this is for the shooting so this particular trigger has um two it has um the r1 and r2 so uh, the R1 does um, that's one that does um, that's one that does um, multiple shots like continuous shots. Why the R2 does a uh, single shot? So if you press this, it's one shot. Uh, that's um, let's say you have the MK12. So if you press this, it's going to be one shot, and if you press this, it's continuous shot. And for this uh, part of the trigger, for this for the R1, so it has you can actually change the frequency. So if I press this, oh okay, so this is dead. It needs to be charged. So uh, I already have one set up here. So as you can see, uh, this is what it looks like. So. And as for this, it's quite simple, straightforward to install. Just slide it down. Then you press this to hold. So that's about it. So let's go ahead and see. So here I have the M16A4. So I changed. If you can if you look down here, it's on single shots. So let's go ahead and reload and in. So if I press the down, the down does single shots. Why if I press this, it does continuous shots. So the R1 does continuous shots while the R2 does uh, single shots. And this is for the aiming. This one is only R1, which is for the aiming. So um, that's it for the uh, JS27 auto trigger uh, with uh, the pause gear. So that's about it. If you want to get one of these, it's going to be available in my store on Konga. So you can just go there and order one of these. So the link will be in the description below to where you can get one of these. 